no regard of, of, of law because people are exercising their constitutional right. The army comes from nowhere and starts shooting on air. From while they, they were shooting on air, people are dispersing. They now open fire on peaceful, uh, 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 on armed people. They kill about six people. And they go, went away with the with three corpses. They took them to police station and dubbed them. And the police officers call us to come and pick our corpses. We pick and the police also say they are not aware of what the military did. The military did it on their own. So they came and they opened fire on people. And this is, they, they, they have, they, they, they were given every chance by the government to kill, to kill us. Because it is the military that went to the, our leader's house and killed him. And the president uh, 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 tell them well done. He, he, he told the, pre, the, the, the military, well done for killing citizens. So that is why the, the military has goes. Anytime they see us, they open fire on us. So yesterday they killed people. They killed about six people. We have six corpses with us now. And they went away with three corpses. They dumped them at the police station. We collected them. We have three with us. Three plus three make six. Now we have six corpses with us. And we have seven people that with, with serious injury, gunshot, at University of Abuja Teaching Hospital here in Guagola. They are receiving treatment. And so people with minor injury, we have nine people with minor injury, they are receiving treatment at Suleja uh, in Niger State. That it is the presidency that sent the military to kill us as they did in Zaire December 2015. So let the government know that killing and other intimidation cannot make us stop what we are doing. We are trekking to, to Abuja and we shall trek to Abuja. If they, if they like, they should come and kill us. Yesterday as they kill, it, it encouraged more people to come down to Abuja. So if they want to kill, they should come and kill. Because the more they touch us, the greater we become. The more they, they touch us, the more people come from various places. So let them come. We want it. If they have bullets, they have grenades, they have everything to kill, we have chests to receive bullets. So they should come and shoot us. We have our chest to receive the bullets. Okay.
We are commemorating the 40 years, uh, day, 40 days after the Ashura killing in Karbala, uh, and at the same time, we, we comes out today to commemorate it to let the masses know something happens in in the days of Imam Hussein alayhi salam. To let the people know why the government of Yazidi bin Muawiyah attack Imam and kill him, just because Imam is against tyranny and oppression. And this time around, we found ourselves in a society here where tyranny and oppression is reigning. Where, where we have a government, we have leaders that doesn't have concern for humanity. Leaders that doesn't care about the masses. The only thing they, they know is how to manipulate and embezzle the resources of the masses and subject the masses into abject poverty and hunger. Now we have a leader, the leader of the Islamic movement in Nigeria, Sheikh Ibrahim Zezeki, who called for justice. He called for the establishment of a system a system that will go against this tyranny and oppression. A system that will provide justice and fairness, just like Imam Hussein calls. The, the government of our time now, under the, 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 the leadership of, of the tyrant, Muhammad Buhari, they attack the Sheikh in his own residence just because he says not to injustice and oppression. Just because he says the majority should come out and challenge tyranny and oppression at all costs. Just because he says the government should stop killing innocent Nigerians. Just because he's against the killing of innocent citizens of Nigeria in the name of Boko Haram and other uh, 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 security uh, issues. This government, they attack him in his own residence. They kill more than 1,000 of his followers. They met him inside a room. They, they set a fire to his residence. They lock off his elder sister, Hajia Fatima, of 78 years old, inside a room and set a fire until she died seeking for help. They meet him inside a room with his family. They kill three of his sons. They shoot his wife all over her body. They shoot him himself, including one of his eyes, and they drag his bleeding body on top of the cusps of his killed children, and they brought him down to Abuja and keep him under their illegal custody for almost three years without proper medication.